In this video, I'm going to be explaining the basic principles on how to play sautier. Stick around to the end of the video. Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. Thanks for coming across my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications. I do violin how-to tutorial videos just like this one and also product reviews. One of the key strokes, especially bow strokes that we're gonna be talking about today is sautier. A sautier is a not quite like spiccato because spiccato is a little bit more controlled. You're In sautier, you're actually letting the bow do most of the work when you're playing fast. So I'm gonna go step by step and how I approach sautier because it's actually not as difficult as you might think. It does require a little bit of practice and patience, but if you do this throughout a long period of time, then I have no doubt that you'll get it. So sautier, we um, mostly like a more technical bow stroke, but first we're gonna start off with the bow because we have to understand where the balance of the bow is. So let's go ahead and this is actually a really cool trick that a, a violin bow maker and bow restorer actually taught me on how he determines the balance of the bow. So for me, I'm able to hold my bow just about here and it's kind of tipping away, but that's fine. But this is the general balance of my bow. And I would actually say that around this region and maybe towards the middle of the bow, I get the most bounce um, with my bow. So try this at home. See if you can balance your finger or balance the bow on your finger to see where that balance point is because that might be half the battle, understanding where in the bow you do sautier. And once you figure that out, the next step is what the mechanics are with the bow, uh, with the bow hole. What do you do with the elbow? What do you do with the arm to achieve this bow stroke? So let me show you. So sautier is not a left and right bow stroke. It is more of an up and down bow stroke. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna experiment sautier on the A string, and we are going to just go up and down. You utilize, we're gonna utilize the entire um, curvature of the string without touching the D string and the E string. And before we do that, we're gonna do that. And you can see that there's a clear curvature to the string, but I'm not touching the E or the A string. And to give you a better idea of what it is, what's going on with my arm, it's, it's going up and down. It's not going left and right. And actually at the end of the day, we're gonna sound like this. And the movement in my arm is actually very small. We're not gonna do, you know, like a, like a big movement in our arm. It's mostly gonna be very small. So understanding where that, where that balance point is on the bow is again, half the battle. Now, the second step, as I mentioned already, it's gonna be the curvature of the string. Once you establish that, then you're gonna go a little bit faster and then minimize the stroke. And then, though, if you wanna do other strings, all you gotta do is just lift that arm up on the right so that way you can accommodate all the strings. Now, let me warn you is that when you have the elbow a little bit too high, the bow stroke is not gonna work because you need to make sure that the weight of the arm is playing a role in your sautier. And you don't have to press, you don't have to squeeze, and you don't have to go left and right. It's all about letting the bow do most of the work. And all you do is just simply guide the bow. And you might notice that I'm not too close to the to the bridge, and I'm not as close to the to the fingerboard as some people like to do. If you want to do like a a more um, a lighter sautier with not so much bow noise, at least for me, I do it a little bit more in the upper half and closer to the fingerboard. However, that you know having a specific kind of bow, you know what the weight of the bow is, where the balance point is, plays a role in that. So you know, at that point, equipment does play a factor. So unlike, I can do a slower sautier and let the bow still bounce, or I can do a very fast sautier and have a little bit less. And I'm still using very minimal bow. You might not even see it, but, <laughs> but it's more of this kind of seesaw motion left and right. It's not so much this, again, 
it's left and right, and you're lifting your elbow up as the as the wrists go down, kind of like a seesaw, like in a playground, where you know if the if the if the hand goes down, the wrist goes up. If the elbow goes down, then the wrist goes up. Wait, did I just say that right? No, if the wrist goes down, then the elbow goes up, and if the elbow goes down, then the wrist goes up. There we go, that's what I wanted to say. There you have it. Those are the basic principle of how to play sautier. Number one, understand where the balance point is on the bow, because if you understand where it is, you're gonna have a likelier chance of how to play sautier, and you're gonna be less frustrated in the practice room. Number two is practicing the motion of that seesaw motion, which is you know the wrist going down, elbow going up, elbow going down, wrist going up. So really try to uh, see if you can understand this motion and apply this motion with the curvature of the string. And then, and then you just do the curvature and then go a little faster and then the bow will automatically bounce for you. I also want to mention that the, um, I'm not gripping the bow all too hard. Again, we want to make sure that the bow does most of the work for us. And if I create more energy into the bow, then the bow is not going to be as responsive. And that energy is going to travel throughout the bow and it's not going to give you the desired result. So really make sure you have a really light bow hand as you are approaching this exercise. You can practice this through scales. You can easily do a D major scale. or whatever like A2 that you're working on, uh, like Kreutzer A2, number two, you can do easily. You know, you can do all of that and you know, you're building agility in your in your right hand and in your left hand. So see if you can try that at home and leave, leave some comments down below. What do you think of this tutorial? What are some tips and tricks that you use for Sautier? I'd love to get this conversation going. Thanks for watching this YouTube video on how to play Soti on the violin. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. It really helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.